limited edition. <laughs> We are now in the second bonus segment. We'll make this three bonus segments. This will be the second one. All alone, huh? We're going to do Million Third Edition. Tell us your name and a little bit about yourself. Well, you know, as much as you can fit into the I wonder if I could put Uncle Sam as a name. <laughs> you want me to do it? Excellent. Here we go. <laughs> I took the name, right? I took the name. Okay, let's play. I took Uncle Sam. Check out your first question. Ah, right, here we go. <laughs> oh my god. What? And I just fought it. My man is lovely, but... Which of these words is often used to describe a very successful movie? Blockbuster? Smash Mouth? Flame 4? Waterworld? A. Blockbuster? Final answer. Chance on answer A. Yes, you got it right! Dude. You're off to a great start, but we've got a long way to go here. Come on, take a deep breath and have a look at your $200 question. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Rachel. I did take a deep breath. According to a popular phrase, a person involved in this fight is said to have what to pick? Bone, axe, card, presidential candidate. <laughs> uh, a bone final. Want to go ahead and make that your final answer? Yes. So, you're going to stick with answer A. You're right. Well, that's good for $200, but let's see what our $300 question has in store for you. <sighs> Fudge. Here we go. When the movie director wants to begin certain key to this, he yells, lights, camera, and what? Microphone, action, makeup, lunch. B, action, final. Alright, you think answer B looks good. You're absolutely right. Nice one. You're doing great, really. Now take a peek at your $500 question. Here we go. Uh, what automaker manufactured the PT Cruiser, the 2001 model trade car of the year? Chrysler, Osmobile, Pontiac, Toyota. A. Chrysler, final answer. Final answer? Answer A, huh? Fair enough. You are correct. This was actually 2001. Hey, that was excellent. Now let's see if you can double your money with the next question. According to the title of 1986 movie, Nick Nolte is down and out in what place? Manhattan, Paris, Beverly Hills, New Jersey. Oh! Down and out in Beverly Hills, C final. Answer C seems like the one to go with. Alright. It has to be Beverly Hills.
look at this. Hey, you're one third of the weight of the million dollars. And here's your next question. Worth $2,000. <laughs> for 2000 in 1982 children's novel the BFG the letters BFG said for what barely fighting his ghost big friendly giant lasting faithful geyser blue flying giraffe BFG We have a pretty clear choice here. You have 15 seconds to answer. Big friendly giant B final. You're gonna to listen to the audience, eh? Yes, you got it right. Okay, that's 2,000 bucks in your pocket. Now let's take a look at the question for $4,000. Getting exciting, isn't it? Yeah. There you go. One more cycle company produced a trademark model called a Fat Boy. Triumph Yamaha BMW Holly Davidson. D. Holly Davidson, final answer. Well, you're thinking it's answer D. Okay. You got it. Hey, you're raking in the dough. How does it feel? Let's see how you do with the $8,000 question. Which of these movies is primarily set on the submarine? Christmas Tide, Das Boot, Down Periscope, A Couple is Now. It's set. Not primarily. Oh gosh. Ugh. I know Das Boot is in the submarine. Down Periscope, I think, is on the submarine. Christmas title of couplets now. One of these gotta be set on the submarine and the other's not and that not we have to go with. Let's put out a call to Bernie. He's a talent agent in Los Angeles. He knows the business like nobody else. Hello, hello, hello. Hi Bernie, how you doing? Marvelous. I just keep turning these perfectly ordinary people into the brightest stars in town. Ah, oh, but enough about you. Tell me how you're doing. Oh, all right. I guess you know I've got a question for you. Of course. I'm always here to help you. Let's just not forget this when your agent's contract is up, okay? Okay. Take a look at this. <laughs> well, that's only one of the greatest movies ever made, you know, in, in recent days. I wouldn't dream of calling anyone but you a question like this. My professional opinion is to go with answer D. Hey, you've been great. Thanks a lot. Of course, Regis. Bye-bye. Bernie is taken with answer D. Are you? Hey, man. Wait a minute. Double check on this one. Hey, okay. okay, wait a minute. That's the... Down Pascal is set on a submarine. The, uh, Christmas Tide, now, now it's supposed to click. Christmas Tide is an, it's like thinking of a world based movie, and it's set on the submarine, so it's gonna be D, a couple that's now. Are I you know. sure that's your final answer? Trusting my friend's advice. Right. 
Okay, that's eight questions in a row at $8,000. Let's see what lies ahead in your $16,000 question. <coughs> Which of these brand, brands is not named for its founder? Sarah Lee, Oscar Mayer, Seth Boy D, Jack Daniels. 50-50. You're going with the 50-50. Computer, please eliminate two answers, leaving the correct answer and one other one. Well, there you have it. Now what helps? Sarah Lee or Seth Boy D, Y R D. Sarah Lee has found, found it herself, because it, her name was like Sarah Lee Bless and all. Seth or D is the Seth, non owner. So I'm gonna go with C. Seth or D. Are you sure that's your final answer? That's my final answer. Answer C seems like the one to go with. All right. Sarah Lee said it. Let's see what you should have done. Yeah, it's a pretty shoulder. Well, look at you. You did terrific. You finished with the highest score of the night. Perhaps you should come back again sometime for another little rendezvous and join me in a round of... Who wants to be a millionaire? Third edition. Now. Now. This is to the park. We are now are done with one half of the special because there's one more for the other half. That's the interest. Let's add a tunnel. So right now, the one half of the special done, everyone, including Brett, will get 290738 So everyone who's watching, and Brett Tucker's going to get 200 I mean, everyone, I mean, everyone will get 290,738. That's one half of the special done. Now, here comes the other half. Tomorrow night, which is, of course, tomorrow's the 4th of July. Tomorrow night, there's that one last bonus segment left, and that is our fireworks show. It is going to go off at 10 p.m. Pacific Time Zone. About 1 a.m. Eastern. And it's 1 a.m. Eastern, 10 Pacific. It's going to be fun. We're going to shoot, we're going to shoot the bonus one on the roof. Always, it's on the move. Best seats in the house. Don't miss it, because it's going to be fun. Fireworks. 
probably a few good commentaries too. And that would be it. Oh, by the way, I cannot. Here's this. I cannot film anything before the fireworks. Well, I can, but it will be till afterwards, so I can stop filming. So tomorrow, I will hopefully up finish uploading part three. Then. No, well, not that part, but I fart. I cannot film, but I will be filming afterwards, so... so tomorrow night, we got our annual fireworks show. It's going to be set off in the view. We're going to be on the roof watching it. We'll see you all for tomorrow night's for the July show. I mean, our 4th of July fireworks show. See y'all later for that one.